This past weekend, I co-hosted an event we called Gateway to Clarity. It was in downtown St. Louis at the historical Missouri Athletic Club. This was not to be the cavernous meeting room sound system and speaker lectern. No, this was to be a couple dozen searchers of clarity, which included our four A-list presenters. It's said that when you move a rock in a stream, everything downstream is altered forever. Lots of rocks were moved this past weekend. A year ago, I fell in love with Mary Laura's book, Managing Thought. Since then, I've connected with Mary, and she has helped me in so many ways with new concepts and methods of spreading my messages. Mary has been my go-to person to launch this project. I can't thank her enough for her commitment. And Mary graciously taught us mindfulness to turn the corner on a lot of stuff that impedes our progress. That there is really no such thing as subconscious. We are either conscious or unconscious in our actions. We choose or we react. To say Peter Stroppel is a fascinating guy would be a gross understatement. Aside from being listed as one of the country's 10 most connected people, Peter's list of corporate experiences is legendary. From being a director at Dell to heading up venture capital organizations and sitting on innumerable boards, Peter prides himself in picking up the phone and connecting people just to get things done. While in St. Louis, Peter's efforts were directed toward putting people and efforts in place to make something positive happen out of the Ferguson situation. Peter Stroppel got us to the point of understanding that while it's valuable to view history as data, we are here now, and it's what we can do now to improve ourselves and our relationships and our world that is most beneficial. Alvin Brown is the owner and director of the Center for Healing and Personal Potential in Ontario, Canada. He's worked with dozens of Olympians and champions and athletes, and Alvin took us down a road of connecting mind, body, and soul to get closer to understanding how they interact and how aligning them reduces stress and improves health and longevity, clarity at all levels, simultaneously. My good friend Dick Brusso, what can I say? We're all a brand, whether we see it that way or not. Dick has been responsible not only for my corporate co-driver brand, but my co-host Kelly Kerr's Amped Up Digital brand. He has been a treasured asset of the National Speakers Association for decades, working with literally hundreds of speakers and companies to get their branding clear and understood. We are connecting or not connecting based on the clarity of our brand. Dick gave us insight as to how aligning what we project with our authenticity is the key to being heard above the noise. Imagine being in a room with these four clarity experts for two days. Even you could move a rock in your stream. And add to that 20 other folks from all walks of life, folks who've never met before this path-changing weekend, and give them bagels and coffee and tea and time. Time to get to know each other and learn and open up and explore the doubt, be a little vulnerable. Yeah, rocks moved. For those in attendance, you get it. For those who passed, we're considering doing a Gateway Clarity 2, probably September next year. It'll be small, intimate, uncrowded, and awesome. Stay tuned. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm -hmm.